Hi everyone, I'm James, a technology support engineer from Kilovision. Today, I will introduce to you our voice intercom server KIS, which is a multi-part voice call server software system. KIS uses a reality virtual web RTC. It is convenient for users to realize real-time communications through a browser without using any plugin or software. KIS supports up to 32 voice calls, not only on the device side, but also on the mobile side, voice call and the production side. Next, I will introduce the KIS function to you and demonstrate how to use the KIS system. First of all, we need to prepare a USB headset and plug into our codec for intercom. When we are ready, we can use our KIS. After we deploy the KIS, you can enter the HTTPS and the IP on web page. Log into the our KIS system. The default log user is admin. The password is also admin. You can get a 50 days version of our official website and it uh, uh, supports up to 8 users. After recreation, it will become the best version like this. It supports up to 32 users. In addition, there is no difference between the two of them. This main interface area shows the device that has been connected. When we move the mouse over a device, the close button appears in its upper left corner. You can click it to delete this device. We can adjust the volume or set the device to mute. We can click the mute all options in the upper right corner of the page. It mutes all devices and only the voice of admin can be heard. KIS supports Chinese and English language. Next, I will demonstrate how to add users and devices. Click setting and, and the user give it a name. Join. Then set the password to complete. Okay, okay. Then the new user will be created. Click divide list and add devices. Give it a name. Copy the serial number of the device. And pass it. Click generator to copy the association code to the device. Next, we need to connect to the KIS server on the device side. And click plus to add the intercom connection on the device side. We want to connect to the KIS server, so we choose the tip as call server. Enter the IP address of KIS. and click OK and then we can see that a new voice intercom connection has been added to the list the origin to indicate that the connection is being established 
When the connection started turns green, it means the connection is successful. Click Refresh to discover the new device. We can see that the device has been connected successfully. Now our device can talk to each other. In addition, we can log into the KI system with mobile phones and pads for intercom. Next, we use the mobile phone to log into the KI system. Next, I will use iPhone as demonstration. In the icon, we just create. Now we can start it talking. This is the introduction of KIS. Thank you for watching. If you have any question about the KIS, you can send us an email. Thank you.